Hey, Blender Bob here. This is the last day of recording for the Tiki Movie for the MoCap. And I'm here with Alan, Captain's Disillusion Unpaid Intern. Okay. And he's helping me for the MoCap for the movie. Actually, he's doing most of the job. I just do start and record. But sometimes we need two people to record at the same time. That's why we both have to set up for the MoCap. So this is from Movella. It's the XN system. And for the gloves, I'm using the Stretch Sense gloves. They're high-end ones. And he's using the Manus Meta gloves. And they are both very cool. I will give you more details about them later. Okay, when I say later, I actually mean another clip. This is never gonna fly. You mean the bird or the plane? Both. Keep pumping. This is stupid. Just pump, okay? What are you? T when I tell you, you jump. Jump where? Jump. Roar! <laughs> Well, what I said was true. What is all this technology for, especially here? The Polynesian communities were perfectly capable of living on these islands before white people showed up, and I bet they were happier for it, all living in perfect harmony. <laughs> Everything at your fingertips here. Food is plentiful. The spring water is wonderful. Well, well, there's no cows. Ah, but there's a few wild pigs. No problem, I'll make myself some pork burgers. <laughs> but above all else, I need shelter. And not a sand turtle like that fool Manatea. <laughs> not that I even have a trash can to throw them in, and everything I throw into the ocean is launched right back at me, courtesy of that psychopathic dolphin. I'm alone. I've made an enemy of my only friend. I can't even go home. Why are you looking at me like that? Hmm? Do you think this is funny? I keep seeing you everywhere, always with that mocking look. Okay, so we're gonna try. <laughs> we're gonna try something stupid. We're gonna try to do the calibration on this uh, crash test dummy because we have some stun shots we need to do and we're gonna crash them everywhere. We hope we're not gonna break the hardware. Alan was absolutely awesome for the mocap. He has such a good sense of timing because what he's doing is actually doing lip sync and acting on a voice that's actually Markham 3D's voice and Edward Malachi for Manatea. And he's just mimic, mimicking on top of the soundtrack. And he, he has such a good memory and a sense of timing. It's like we did some shots together and like I, I pale next to him to his talent as a performer. So thank you so much, Anun. Tiki would not be the same without your performance. And for the sound actors too, Malcolm 3D and uh, Edward Malakai, their voices just, they are so good. I love hearing their voices and it works very well together. And you have to understand that they've been recorded at two separate times in different studios and you mix them together and just, it just works. It feels like they were both in the same room when we recorded it. So yeah, awesome job from all the performers. Thank you so much. Let me show you how we do the retargeting. After we did the mocap, we need to apply it to our model. Uh, we use AutoRig Pro for all our rigging and uh, you will see why because there's a very easy way to retarget using AutoRig Pro. Now this is just a fast rig that I did for my layout. It is not the final rigging. All right, so my model is already in the scene. Now I need to import the animation. It's an FBX file. So I'll just go import FBX and I got my mocap. Now the first thing you want to do is to scale it because we do the capture at 60 frames per second. So you just go S and 0 0.4, that will bring it back to 24 frames per second. And you need to set your Blender file also at 24 frames per second because Blender has this nasty tendency to change the frame rate according to whatever you import in it. Okay, remapping time. So the FBX here is going to be the source and then you take your rig and you say it's the target. Then you want to press auto scale to scale the, the reference. Then you build the bone list. So it's gonna to try to match all the bones from your model to the FBX, but there are presets. So in my case, I wanna to go to Xsense because there's a preset for it. This way I know it's gonna work automatically. And then you just press on retarget and that's it. It only takes a few seconds to import it. 
and you see it's done now so I can press play and I got my moving character you can delete the original reference we don't need it anymore and that's how we did the motion capture for the entire Tiki movie. It took us 10 days, 661 shots that now I need to review. So yeah, I'm going to be busy in the next few weeks. Uh, for the facial capture, that's going to be done in iClone from Real Illusion. I'm going to make a special clip about the facial capture, but also I will make other clips for the mocap for the XN system to give you more information on it. And same thing for the gloves. Okay, so now I got a four minute demo that I need to prepare for Bacon Los Angeles. It's going to be very tight. I hope we can finish it in time. We're going to work very, very hard. Otherwise, it's going to be work in progress, but still, you're going to get a very good idea of what we're aiming for. All right, 